Last year, I did a video discussing the motivations of the Grand Inquisitor for choosing the path of the dark side following Order 66. The video centered around the impact that Barriss Offee's speech had on the former Jedi Temple Guard, where in her confession to the bombing of the Jedi Temple included a scathing attack on the Jedi Order, blaming them for the perpetuation of the Clone War. But with the recent attention given to the Grand Inquisitor within the current Darth Vader comic series, we get a much more complete story of the character's fall to the dark side and reasons for turning his back on the Jedi. In this video expose, I will discuss the numerous reasons that were behind the Grand Inquisitor's fall to the dark side. As a bit of a recap, it's important to understand what we knew prior to the release of this year's Darth Vader comics. In an interview with Dave Filoni following the season 2 finale of Star Wars Rebels, we got some of the earliest information surrounding the Grand Inquisitor's journey to the dark side. We learn that he was a former Jedi Temple Guard, but more importantly, he was one of the Temple Guards present during the arrest of Ahsoka, and again during Anakin's duel with Barriss within the Clone Wars TV series. But more importantly, he was also present to hear Barriss' speech regarding the corruption of the Republic, as well as the error of the Jedi in their decision to continue fighting for a corrupt government. As Filoni made clear, it was Barriss' harsh public criticism of the Jedi, alluding to their fall away from the light, that planted a seed within the mind of the Grand Inquisitor, and served as an important catalyst for his choice to join the Dark Side and the Sith. However, although Filoni mentions that this moment with Barriss' confession to bombing the Jedi Temple acted as the beginning of his descent into darkness, we've recently learned that the Grand Inquisitor's journey to the Dark Side started much sooner. One of the primary motivations that drove him to the Dark Side was his growing resentment of the Jedi for not letting him access the Temple Archives, and more specifically, the great secrets that were hidden within it. The Grand Inquisitor took this denial personally, wherein he thought that the Jedi and the lead archivist of the Archives, Jocasta Nu, were deeming him unworthy of learning the deep secrets of the Order. Over time, this resentment drove him to a state of paranoia and twisted suspicion of the Jedi. He believed they actually took satisfaction in denying his requests, and labeled him as someone unworthy of education due to being second class among Jedi. Demonstrating just how important accessing the archives was in the Grand Inquisitor's fall to the dark side, as he told Darth Vader, he'd been waiting his whole life to get a chance to search the temple archives and see what waited within them. It wasn't merely that the Grand Inquisitor grew to resent the Jedi for not allowing him to access what he viewed as the Order's most important secrets. The important aspect in regard to his fall to the dark side, in my opinion, was Palpatine's manipulation of the then Temple Guard. As we learned in issue number 6 of the Vader comic, Palpatine exploited the Grand Inquisitor's resentment of the Jedi in an effort to utilize his skill as part of his long-planned Inquisitorius. Palpatine saw this resentment as, quote, a crack in his armor, making him easy to exploit and ultimately lead down the path to darkness. Therefore, although Barriss' speech certainly played a role in his fall, Palpatine's exploitation of the Grand Inquisitor's resentment of the Jedi was the defining feature of his fall to the dark side. But there was more underneath the surface regarding the Grand Inquisitor than merely resentment over the archives. We learn a significant amount about his motivations during his duel with Jocasta in issue number 9. It's here, when questioned by the Jedi Master how he could betray the Order, that we learn he always harbored some resentment separate from that arising from the Archives, and never felt at ease within the Temple. For the Grand Inquisitor, much of this stemmed from the fact that the Jedi forced him into the Order when he was too young to resist, and only showed him the light side of the Force. This created a never-ending, unfulfilled void within him that always created doubt within the Grand Inquisitor's mind that his being limited to the Light and the Jedi teachings just didn't feel right. Ultimately, he would come to fill this void with the purity of the Dark Side. It was through the Dark Side that the Grand Inquisitor could utilize the fury he realized had always been part of him, stemming from his being taken within the Order as a child and the continued denials to learn more. Therefore, in the story of his fall to the dark side, it must be realized that separate from his desire to access the archives and the manipulations by Palpatine, 
the Grand Inquisitor had an internal fury and distinct unease with merely following the light. Ultimately, these elements would push him to betray his fellow Jedi and join the Sith on a path that embraced the dark side. So there we have it, the primary motivations and elements that caused the Grand Inquisitor's fall to the dark side. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For being careful what you wish for...